I risked 50 bucks. Um, and let's just talk about how the PL is 680. So this also just goes to show that you really don't have to risk that much capital to make a solid return on your trades as long as you have a defined and well-developed strategy. What's up, BBT? Megan here with the Stock Trading Simulator. Uh, I want to talk through uh, Twitter. Twitter has been the hot topic of the week with Elon Musk buying into the company, and now he's on the board. So a lot of people have been playing this stock this week. Um, it had a massive day yesterday, um, and I think it'd be fun to just talk about how we could have played this. So, you know, Twitter's ATR is like a dollar eighty, somewhere around there, like a buck seventy. I don't know. We'll just let's just round to two dollars for mass, math purposes. So let's just say Twitter's ATR is like two dollars. Um, you know, this pre-market move is like eleven bucks, right? We have it from like just below forty bucks to fifty-one dollars. So that's a massive move. Um, for for a stock that trades like two dollars range a day, right? So um, I want to talk about how to play this, and if you're someone that doesn't like using the higher time frame levels like i trade the higher time frame levels but um i can understand that you know it's a pain to like go back and find the higher time frame levels and maybe you just want to trade what's like right in front of you well when i open up this chart what's right directly in front of me is this range right here right so i like to trade ranges i think they're the safest place to play because you have um, a lot of established buyers and sellers within a consolidated area so typically the stock isn't going to like move very quickly against you um, in these areas. Um, you're more likely to get those kinds of sharp moves here, right? So we've got basically this one single bounce. So you could, there's not a lot of buyers and sellers here. There, there are some, but there's not as many as there are here. So if you, if we are at this level here, you know, we could get a bounce to the long side, which would be, be a good play, but we could also lose this level. And then, you know, we would quickly fill the gap. So if you caught it, if you caught this short here to fill the gap, that would be a great play as well. You know, there's a lot of like, you know, good plays off of this, but I, I do think that the safest place to play would be somewhere, you know, in this range. And looking at this range, you know, it looks really small just because the gap is really big. But if you actually look at the price levels here, we've got one here at 49.72 and we've got one here at 48.89 so almost a, um you know a dollar so that's close to what twitter would normally trade during the day so if you catch the top of this to the bottom of this and you caught the full move well i mean that's you know we'll just i guess that's sure we'll say it's half of uh twitter's atr for the day so i mean that's a that's a decent move um and you know if you're risking you know 20 cents and um you're uh, or you're you're risking 50 bucks and you're you know you're putting your stop at like 20 cents from from that level um you know you can you can get a good chunk of profit uh what would that would be like 250 shares so um you you know that's that's good that's good money in the bank um with just very small risk so anyways i digress let's get into it um so the places that i want to play on this stock would be either be the top of this range here or the bottom of the range here. So I would want to play this for either a break out of here, a breakdown from here, or I could play it back into the range, right? So um, either way, we can play this a couple different ways. Or like I said, if you're someone that likes to uh, play some of these bounce areas, you could also play it here. So um, let's just dig into this. And let me show you really quickly why I picked the levels that I picked. So I didn't pick the top here and I didn't really pick the total bottom here. What I want to see is more touches to that area, um, to a certain area, right? So this wick here on um, this candle is showing me that this was like a uh, someone was really trying to break through this level and they just couldn't. And then we've got this nice rejection here before this, this big move down. Um, so I see this as a very well-established rejection area. Plus we've got these other touches to it. Um, and then the, the bottom, you know, I'm just trying to get as many candles in there as possible. Right. So, um, and then we, we lost that too right there. So that, that looks like a good level to me. Um, all right. So let's just, let's get this, this guy going. Come on, Megan, we're taking too long. Let's do this. All right. So let's just hit, play so like i said i really only want to play those two areas um oh look i already have myself queued with 250 shares it's like i knew what i wanted to trade here um so 250 shares like i said i um i trade based off of the atr so i use 10 percent of the atr so i would want a stop you know 20 cents around this level here and 20 cents around this level here and if i'm using 50 dollars risk then that 20 cent um stop um provides me 250 shares so that's what we're gonna we're gonna play with on this guy all right, so 
let's just see how it opens stuff that's gapped up you know this much at the open there's going to be profit taking of course um you know it, it might be a little bit volatile it might be a little it also might be a little bit choppy something that's moved this much so we just kind of want to give it a minute here um you know five minutes is probably a good idea look we're coming up on over here five minutes um and i don't want to play it down here right it rejected the level but i don't want to play it all the way down here i want to play it here or here um that's what i'm looking for i want to play it near the range here all right that's a nice rejection I'm going to play it here with the loss of this level i would be out right so that stop would probably be a little bit wider than i wanted but you know sometimes life is just like that so now if i take it at the bottom of the range i definitely want a partial somewhere here like where there's like a bounce point right it could lose that and i could fill this whole gap and that would be awesome let's just see what happens so i really only want to get out of this if we break over the top of this range so let's just hold on to this for a second we haven't broken back above the top of this range. It's definitely trying to get back into it, but we're still safe. So let's just watch, hang out together. All right, it hasn't held above it, so it's just we're still safe. Oh, skipped a beat. You know, and I let's see. I can put it. This is when we put on the two-minute chart. Oh, and see, I want to talk about this. This is a hot mess. This is hot garbage. If I wasn't actually in this based off of this range level here from the pre-market, I would have absolutely no idea where to get in here, right? So that is why these ranges are very, very safe places to play because there's a, a bunch of areas where you could be getting tricked in and out of this. Um, and it's just super, super choppy. So playing these ranges is definitely a safe bet for you. All right. So we'll just let this guy go. Where's my bounce point here? I want to be definitely a little bit above the bottom. Maybe where there's some more touches. So let's just say, mm, like this base here, 47.06. All right, if it gets down there, definitely going to take profit. We'll, just, we'll say half. 47.07. Okie dokie. Let's just put a level there so we don't forget if we get there. That looks like a good place. Um, so we're still, you know, we're far away from the range. So I still feel pretty good about this. There's no other like range or bounce point really to take profit at. I mean, I guess I could take some here where it kind of wicked up, but I'm going to just wait here. Actually, you know what? It's definitely holding. So I'm going to take a little bit of profit here because I'm looking at this, this area right here, right? where it came up and it kind of like held below. This was definitely like some resistance and then it, and then it broke through. So it's kind of utilizing it as support right now. So um, definitely want to take some profit. All right, we're getting down to my next target, 47.07. Is it going to get the, the corner? Come on, little guy, you can do it. All right, all right, that's close enough for me. All right, so <clears throat> we're at that bounce point. Like I said, if you're a long trader, you know, maybe if this bounces, you could take a long here. Um, if you are a short, more of a short bias person, um, you could wait for the loss of this, this level here and you could do, go for the gap fill. And that would be an awesome gap fill. I mean, that was quite the run it had. So now if this gets above... I'm just going to pause this for a second. So if this gets above this area here over on the, like, the, we'll just look at the two minute chart <clears throat> because that's where I can see the range, right? We see this as like a resistance point. Um, and then you can see it right here where it breaks above it in the pre-market. So if we are, um, you know, wanting to take profit and maximize this return on this trade, I would be, you know, interested in, you know, taking some shares off here and then maybe holding the rest till break even or just seeing what the stock does. So um, if it breaks above this level, 47, 36, yeah, I mean, it's already there right now. If it breaks above that, I would be interested in taking some profit off the table. So let's just see how many shares I got left. 50. I'll hold 50. Maybe we would get the gap fill. Maybe we won't. See what happens. So this looks like it's moving. Mm -hmm. We're just hanging out together, you and me, <laughs> in the stock trading simulator. All right. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit for you. Oh, 
All right, well, I definitely would get out by now. So just, you know, for time's sake. Okay, so I'm out of this, right? And like I said, people who are interested in the this sort of bottom bounce play could have caught this, and this would have been a nice move. Um, would have been a great move, actually. So we caught it to the downside, and now they're catching it to the upside. So, you know, maybe you play both. Maybe you play the range, and then maybe you also play the bounce. So now that we're getting back up to this area, all right, do I want to play it again? Well, let's just see what happens. Let's do 50 on it. I mean, I'm already sitting pretty. You know, I've realized over 200 bucks on this trade. Not too bad for a $50 risk. You know, it's almost a five R trade. So we'll just see what happens here. All right, so it's struggling a little bit here. Let's just speed it up a tiny bit. All right, it's broken through, it's testing. Actually looks like, well, it could be holding, but it does have a pretty strong move up. So I would be waiting for some type of pullback. Let's just speed this up. Okay, that's a good, that's a good little hold off of here. If I get in here, I'm looking at like a double eight, 10% ATR stop. So I don't want to get in quite yet. That's a little bit too far for me. I, it's possible that I would have grabbed it here um, on this retest, but for um, video sake, we'll just keep watching. Yeah, that was actually a nice retest. But I sped it up. I sped it up. All right. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend we would have grabbed it on this retest. We're going to grab it here. And now it's probably going to come down all the way. <laughs> but, you know, the bottom of the range is the place where we want to play. So we're just going to speed this up. Let's retest it quite a few times, actually. It's really holding here. I might even... Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to buy more. All right, let's just keep going. Still holding. That is a solid level. Still holding. Now it's breaking. And it's holding the top side. So you could consider an ad. Um, but now that I'm uh, in this here, as breaking the top side, I would be looking for, you know, like the top area here. If it holds, maybe we do 51 or 50, 56. Just gonna speed it up. Still pushing. Oh yeah, there we go, 51. You know, I've already had a very good day, as you can see. I'm just gonna get all out of this. Um, this is the top of this area here. You could, you know, hold it for, you know, maybe a full move or something um, past that. But I mean, this is Twitter, y'all. <laughs> Twitter moves like, like I said, like two bucks a day. We've already caught, you know, what is this? A, a move from 49-ish. Down 47, we've already caught a full ATR here. Um, if we get in here around 48, we'll say 49, and we catch it up to 51, that's another full ATR. So we're catching like full normal ATR moves on Twitter just going off of this range. Um, so anyways, I risked 50 bucks. Um, and let's just talk about how the PL is 680. So this also just goes to show that you really don't have to risk that much capital to make a solid return on your trades as long as you have a defined and well-developed strategy. So I like the ranges, they're safe. Um, I recommend giving them a shot um, and you know, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment below or shoot me an email, uh, Megan, M-E-G-A-N at bearabletraders.com. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, be sure to check out the stock trading simulator and um, repost it to Twitter so we can see, or yeah, re repost your Twitter trade to Twitter, <laughs> Twitterception to uh, see what you're trading. All right, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.